We knew the first part of the bracket would be pretty straightforward with the four teams that made it through today's semifinals. We also knew that it was going to get complicated at that point. That's exactly been the case because both series now will go the distance. The third map will come up again. It's Inferno. We've seen this quite a lot so far. It's been quite exciting. Well, it actually hasn't. It's been pretty boring so far, but this is the time where it actually means something. We're going into it. The final map between SKDC and Lunatic. We will, of course be having the Salakis speed knife round casting as oh, well. Oh, you're making, putting me on the spot. I don't always do it. Well, you're going to this time. <laughs> <All right then. laughs> so, deal right, with it, basically. Touche. Um, but yeah, we're going to need it to wake us up. Bit of comedy going into this next one. But yeah, this is this is all it. All the chips are down. Both teams getting a map apiece. We just saw uh, L Lunatic coming back on the on the, the map that wasn't even theirs. So, pretty convincing stuff so far. Um, yeah, but both maps have been won by the opposite team, obviously. Obviously, why wouldn't they? Well, if one's been won by the opposite, then the other one had to. Yeah. I was making it was obvious based on your statement. Mm. But that's so common in Counter-Strike lately. It seems like it. Too that's, complacent. It's kind of weird. But there we go then. So, obviously, both teams probably wanted to start on the CT half after... Oh, Twitch chat. You've swayed heavily from the start of this series. They really have. Yeah. How flipping is that? It was, uh, I think, 57% at the start of the series for SKDC. You fickle people. As Lunatic now has the favorites. Twitch chat's never wrong. Remember what we said last night versus red and blue? We've got more blue. Makes sense. You said that. You said it the other way around. You I said, said there was before. red, but then I clued <laughs> into how much blue there was. So you just go with anything what you feel like on the day, basically. But Yeah, why not? There we go, then. Um, it looks like we'll be jumping into the game. Probably starting very shortly. We can see all 10 players connected on the server. <coughs> we have got the knife rounds. I think you course. should do the speed casting on the knife rounds. I can't. I haven't got the, the same eloquent style. Do it so well. You can do it. I can't. I believe in I you. This, this is not my thing. All right, fine. I've never fine. Even, I didn't even know it was a thing you did. You surprised me so much. I don't really watch that many casts. And I've never, is, that, is that normal don't for you? Don't watch Counter Strike. Uh, I do it occasionally, yeah. It was a thing we'd started last season. Okay. And uh, Get Right retweeted it, Reddit saw it, and then it became a thing. So I do it. I do it usually once a tournament. I didn't do it at the ESL qualifiers just because I didn't feel appropriate in that situation. We have one more just for the the 7 a.m. just to push us through. <clears throat> Ebot, knife, knife, knife. He's gonna do it, everyone. He's getting ready. He's standing up as I'm well. I'm not it's crazy. actually. I'm sitting down. I'm actually <laughs> leaned back. It's not in salon. Don't don't build this up to be more than it has to be. I really want to. Do. <clears throat> I'm gonna take my time on this one. Wow. I wonder if I can do the opposite. <laughs> that was awful. Here we go then. Are you going to count it down? Three, two, one. Let's go. And almost on cue. The pain's going to come in because now the knife round will engage and already under fire. It's Red Rover again, but not quite the same lineup from the CTs we saw in the first matchup. And it's SKDC that seemed to be playing the aggressor and so far playing the kills. A little bit of team damage from Stewie 2K, but eventually he makes up for it. And it's an ace, a team ace, I rather should say, in the knife round that eventually the insanity will ensue. The Lunatics have become SKDC because post knife round they kill everybody, but they get the important CT side as the start. I'm just going to keep talking until you cut me off. And that's going to be anytime soon, or is it not? Okay, I'm done. And what a knife round it was. For as fast as the casting, it's over like that. And SKDC will be taking the CT side. And after losing that second map, that's probably the morale boost they needed to get themselves into this game. Pistol rounds will be very important, obviously. Uh, CTs have to decide whether they want to do something very aggressive or sit back and allow the clock train to hit them. Uh, and it's not a very pleasant train to be hit by, I can tell you that. It's very difficult to hold off, especially on Inferno. Very tight choke points. Getting up together is uh, very difficult for the CTs to even do anything about. So it'll be interesting to see what they do and what they can bring to the, bring to the party. And uh, it's going to be Lunatic starting on the T side. We have criticized their T sides, especially on Dust2 so far. But after that Mirage performance, you have to give it to them. They looked a lot stronger in that, space, that situation. Sorry. Well, we'll await them to start. This pistol rolling. Pistols have been fairly even between these two teams as well. It's not like the first matchup we saw tonight where it was 3-1. to one. And eventually stabilized for the third game, but there was an advantage for three sup initially. And here we go. Here we go. Everyone's ready. We're ready. Let's I'm ready. This. You're definitely ready. You're standing again. I'm gonna try this. Let's do the Murray Walker. It's really good. You get. You feel like he wakes you up. You can I get all the air sleep. in your lungs. You pull out the microphone cables. <laughs> it's perfect. I think I broke everything. <laughs> Don't tell the producers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fixed. Fine. It's fixed. Okay, let's do this. So, 
there. Terrorist now. Two players with utility, in fact. Going to be three sets of armor and two flashes of Doomwalk. And uh, Relic's going to be your guy with the smoke. CTs are actually pushing that That's what we're talking about. They're trying to get that offensive push, get information, and see what they can do. Terrorists go on the other side of the map, and now it's going to open up. It's going to be very difficult for two men to hold this off. Well, two men are going to have to. Good push from El Samama. He's going to find Doomwalk. And now they've got so much map control on this CT side because they're going to push toward this A site. Ellis needs to be careful, though. There is a player at Boiler, so despite that he's got now another kill, a third, Skyler's there, and Skyler will recover it with three kills of his own. But he's low on HP, and he's still got two to go against. So problems still for him. If he pulls this off, it's an ace in the pistol round. How incredible would that be? What a way to start it off. Smoking off the bomb gives him a chance to re-grab it. Slummy knows that that's his, anticipate, or his anticipated play, his intended play, I should say. So he'll spam preemptively into it. It also means that there's a gap for Stewie, and they've got control of it. Slummy gets the kill. It's 1-0 SKDC. Almost got the bomb and got out of there. That would have been absolutely crazy there. After getting three frags, if he could have stolen the bomb and got to the B bomb site. Here we go. You can see the frags. A flurry of them as well. Two Glock headshots there, and he does get the third as well. He got them into that back sing round single-handedly, and it was pretty spectacular to watch. This round, obviously very important. A full force buy from Lunatic. They're going for tech nines and armor, but the CTs are going to react with five rifles as well. They know this is coming, and they're going to play from it as well. Slemmy going for that information play, getting a nade down, and actually does some pretty decent damage to the T's now. Opening it up now. Standard formation. 3-2, Slemmy on arch. Fastest rotation position because Ellis is inside of Pit when they have Ape inside apartment, so they've stacked up the heavy A presence. What they haven't done is given much more attention on to be aside from this smoke and the flash catches Ocean in full as well as Stewie so good potential for this eco to come in and it works out they may lose a few on the way through but they get both players down which will allow for the bomb plant low HP but Skylar's picked up the rifle the FAMAS that's down invert's gonna drop bring it back to the advantage SKDC as they work in they do have a kit as well on Slummy so they've got a bit of time to work with so long as he at least drops the kit close may not even need to stay alive but needs to get that kit, kit, kit excuse me in a good position Slummy on to Drake, it leaves Skyler. Again, I did say he has the FAMAS, but he's already been spotted. They'll get on this defuse, and he will go down at the exact same time. That, that will be completed. So it is 2 nothing SKDC. Three players staying alive is... Oh, I love it. Look, they can just show us off for this. <laughs> Thanks, well, guys. Standing up. God, the crotch shot is not going to be strong. Right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> there we go. That's, all, that's how we're casting right now. That's how you do it properly. Um, but there we go. The Tech 9 round being very effective. You saw them getting that banana control, and there's going through the smoke that almost favors them. They can drop a pop flash there, go and get through, and they got the bomb down, and it does allow them to get Tech 9 yet again. They will have enough for AKs next round. So, pretty important round now. CTs want to make sure they don't drop any rifles whatsoever, and uh, this is really interesting to see how this one goes down. Very, very interesting setup in the CTs as well. Staying three players towards the arch side of the start, anticipating a rush. But again, they're giving the banana control to the Tito, allowing them to get all the way to the top before they actually have an inf information here. So could be a very similar tactic. Burst through with a flashbang and see how it goes for them. And there is only two members home on B. So it's going to be the same problem, but more Tech 9s in play this time. The flash doesn't catch on the way through, though. So they won't have them blinded up. That allows Stewie and Ocean to have a much easier time of slowing this down. Also calls Slemmy over a little bit sooner, but as a response, we're going to see that rotation back into mid. Skyler will stay at Sandbags, hoping that anyone who chases down Banana will walk into his victim, or walk in and be his victim, be his prey, but that bomb is arriving just as Slemmy gets back on A, knowing what's up. He's read the play. He's seen it too many times before. He'll find Drake. The A4 of Ape inside the pit. Interesting to see that gun in play. We'll also find Drossul. He'll get the assist on Invert. Now it's just Skyler, and again, he was the player lurking, so he's alone left at B. Last, uh, I guess, anti-eco goes to SKDC, but now the guns come out. That's the big thing. So here we go, then. The first real round of this Inferno map. Let's see what they've got on the board. Five AK-47s, no Orb for the team now. Ocean will be saving a Famas as well. For me, this is a good time to show that aggression on Banana. They haven't shown it so far. They've allowed the T's to gain a lot of control towards that. Get towards the top and execute twice now into the B area. But this is it now. This is where, this is where the momentum can shift. Terror is looking to get their first round on the board. But let's see what goes down. Ape's going to be booted onto the quad area. That's quite a nice play to do on the first round. It's going to be very surprising for them. And I think he actually, did he drop off? Did he stay up there? I'm really glad that I'm is. seeing the two minute delay. They caught my mistake where I said clit. Did he? I tried to say clip. Okay. Ape did get himself up there. Goes for that balcony jump. Drake's going to find that kill, though, so it brings it to a man advantage right now. 
How has he got away with that? Just coming out boiling, and picking up two frags for nothing, really. That's pretty impressive stuff from him. And now it's going to be a five on three. Slemmy is going to be the last man on the bomb side. He's got everything to defend for himself. And that's pretty much a definite save for the CTs. Awful hold from them. This Drake is coming out running two very simple frags. I said that quad boost was looked amazing for them. It's a good thing to do on the first round, but it got shut down straight away by uh, our man there, uh, Drake. Very good stuff from him. Yeah, I mean, first gun round to go to Lunatic's T side is important because, again, yes, they had a good T side in the last map. Yeah. It's been an issue over the last two nights. Sure. So if they can pick this up early enough, in a time when the economy still isn't fully established for SKDC, they're going to have another buy in the next round for sure. But there's still, I mean, this is this is, this is good. This warrants well to get them some momentum rolling. If they can pick up, I think, even five rounds on a map like this, based on how their CT is typically gone, then they should be able to secure this map and steal the series from SKDC. But it's not barring anything out of this, because SKDC, again, will still have a buy here and, and have the chance to break it backwards. It will be a buy. Um, you can see they have a famous there, so they're going to drop that swipe. He's the guy with the lowest, the lowest bankroll. So it will be a pretty decent economy for both teams here, but obviously a round that's going to be very important, especially for the CTs. If they lose this one, they go to Wico and potentially give two away to Lunatic. So this is one they definitely need to win. I think they get allowed a little bit too much freedom for Drake there. The fact he got out of no real contention from the CTs whatsoever, pretty sloppy. There should be someone arched locking him down when he does that, but there we go. And uh, Banana Control coming in once again for the Terrorists. So yeah, so we get that for free. No no reply from the CTs whatsoever. Alice is in Boiler. And Drossul initially looked to take the peak toward him, but looked away at the wrong time. Meanwhile, though, there is some pressure on Banana because all three players in A are all the way over on pit side. Slemmy's just getting back to the arch now, so really good potential to execute for the T's even though they went a man down when this all unfolded on the B site. It works out, though. They pick up both, and they still have three up to secure the post-plant positions. Bomb's not being planted. Finally does. And Slemmy is smoked off. Ape's going to be exposed because that smoke's gone, and he's clearly in the alley, but smartly the terrorists aren't going to leave themselves in the open to take that pick. They'll fall into safety. Let's the CTs get closer, but they still have position. Not if Slummy can find Drake at Orange's one. They still have Emo. That's an important spot to have if Skyler gets smoked off inside. Banana it becomes problematic, and that's exactly what's going to happen. They can get on this defuse right now, and Skyler, he's not going to have a way to fight back into this site. So they'll hold this. Skyler's got to go. Skyler finding one. That's it. The hold will count. SKDC get back that second gun, and things become fragile for Lunatic now. So SKDC go against the theory that I proposed a moment ago. It's going to look good for them. But the fact they got the bomb down as well, that's an extra $800. Their bankroll is actually very strong right now. Looking over the CT camp, it's actually not amazing. They, they have, will be able to get five rifles there, but it's not the best it could possibly be. So uh, a great round for SKDC. As I mentioned before, had they lost that one, they were going down to an eco. So good recovery from them. Was a little bit sloppy at the beginning. Lost a couple of frags, but the retake was good. Got the smoke down on the bomb and made sure they guaranteed the round. So... Here we go then, going into the sixth round, and it seems like the, the T's yet again getting that banana control. CT's yet to contend that area. We see a lot of teams showing aggression there and pushing them out at the start of the round at least, and they're, they're not doing that. They're actually banking on three players towards the art side this time. Which is interesting to say the least. Like if someone went apartments and went out quickly, or even boiler like does before, they're in a lot of trouble there. They haven't got any vision whatsoever on the, the bomb side side of the map. Stewie, we haven't seen SKDC get aggressive too many times in Banana. He catches Invert trying to leave. Not only the fact that he's trying to leave gets the kill, but the fact that he is leaving indicates it's coming to A. And Drake still finds the entry on that. So Slemmy going down brings it back to four versus four with a very weak A site. As a result, Ape has to get in on top of the boxes directly under the canopy. But he changes it. He's going to go behind the truck, gets inside pit. It's given up. Drossel knows when he enters from, from apartments, excuse me, that it'll be there. And he hasn't spotted him. He'll hear him drop down late, but can't find the shot. And now Ape's going to have a lot of problems as he exposes himself. But fortunately, a smoke that's come out from the terrorist gives him enough protection on his right side to secure not only the first, but damage on the second. Ocean collects it. It's back down to just relics. Has bomb. Not a lot of time. And though Ocean was low on HP, he'll find the frag with the M4. SKDC continue forward. So that's actually a really nice push from SKDC. They're not opting for that first round, um, well, first start of round aggression, pushing down Banana. They did the retake onto the car area. So they waited to head, till they heard some noise at the top, took a flashbang, went over there, showed two people taking them down. But the terrorists reacted quite nicely as well. As soon as they saw that push was coming in, they opted to go straight up middle and found a frag of their own. But the retake again from SKDC was very good and got themselves at the fifth round on the board. And that pushes Lunatic to an eco now. And you can see all five players towards that second mid area. And it's going to be fast frags incoming, else opening it up. Mama does get caught because he gave away his position on that first kill. 
So they overwhelm before Ape can get in the hallway and try and cut them off doing so. It gives Slummy now a chance, though, to take down Doomor, who's solo. Pistols are working all right, though. This Eco is doing a great job because now they've pulled back two more kills. They've also secured an M4 for Drossul. He doesn't have the armor. It's Invert who does, and it's Invert who puts the bomb down. His two kills not going to be enough, but bomb down. As I mentioned, those key words for the economy of Lunatic. The fuse going to come out. It's going to be 6-1. SKDC looking solid on their defense so far, but Lunatic it won't take much for them to get back into this if they can. They are losing a lot of men on these rounds. It's, it's going to be difficult for them to build up a, di like a strong bankroll if you're losing three frags to Tech Nines almost every single time. The money's okay right now. They had one player on around 8k there, so I think they'll be fine. Around, they want to they wanted keep this momentum flowing, though. We can see Lunatic do come in with a full buy this time. Every utility available to them, five AKs, and maybe they need to actually start u u abusing this B area they're getting at the start of the round. Do a fast execute onto the bomb site, perhaps that would be quite cool, getting up there and actually uh, showing some aggression right at the start of the round. But here we go then, all five players, again, over towards second middle. They're not going to show any presence at Banana this time. Crossfire, as per always, is established. Not surprising. Apes have gone away from the pit, so they'll fall back because he's going to push into the tunnels just a little bit. It'll give Ellis the chance to support that. Weakens the top of mid just a bit. As a result, Slemmy's gone back to the archway. But all of the players right now from Lunatic, no one in, inside Banana at all. No one even scouting that to see if it's going to be a possibility to fall back into later. They've essentially committed very heavily onto this A site early on. And three players inside the tunnels, or rather the hallways of the apartments right now. Means Apes going to have some problems. That flash bounces in. Rather the smoke. Double bounce, though. That may... If they were listening carefully, indicate that he's on the balcony based on the fact that it went off the first wall. But Ellis gets on top. It's Drake to open it up. Finding Slummy. Ellis is going to have to play this carefully. And Drake's now looking to go back down middle. But as I said, they haven't got any information on Banana. It's a fortunate call because they've rotated Ocean over early. He's stuck behind the smoke with Relics at the archway. But Slummy, he's going to catch rather Ellis, excuse me, going to catch them off. As they rotate back down, he's peaks mid, discovers them all waiting to get back away, and now they have to commit to A, because that gig's up, they've got to come back around, Invert's going to walk toward the site, Ape's waiting inside of it, it's traded by Skyler, but the bomb was dropped, 14 seconds for him to recover, plant, and play this out against two players, and he goes deep inside the site, it means Ocean's got to go find her, further, excuse me, to find him, wow. but it means he's got nowhere to hide when he gets there. What a round that was. Went for a full-on execution there. Actually was very impressive. And then very set smokes. Molotov's going down as well. They, they got really shut down in the beginning of the round. They did they lost the quad area. Had to go around and force the arch. And they actually went back to Banana as well. One person lurking in the arch. And it didn't work out for them whatsoever. Came down to a two-on-one there. When uh, Relics have got the bomb down, you thought he may have had a chance. But unfortunately, just wasn't enough time. He was forced to do an open plant. And he got shut down there. But another round on the board for SKDC. And that's going to be four in a row for them as well so they're doing very good work here right now looks like lunatic haven't really got an answer what, to what's going on so far they haven't actually done any set pieces over towards the b bomb site yet we know they can get the control of the uh, banana so again three players at the bottom there just seeing what they can do they have got the control again but they're aware of the push that came in last time the the, the flashes that came over and the car retake that happened so they're just trying to buy their time let the smokes die down and then the round after that. this time they'll put a little more presence early in banana more standard. Not a lot of pressure toward A though. Drossel's T apartments all the way back. Yeah. Hanging out in the living room. Perhaps trying to tune into Twitch, watch a game between Lunatic and SKDC that right now SKDC have their claws firmly into. We're early yet though. Invert's going to find the first kill of this round. It is Stewie2K. We'll suffer that punishment, I guess you could say. Low damage though for Drake, as well as. Skylar and Dumor. And they still want to put pressure on top of Banana right now. Ellis getting an 8 out, though. I did mention Drake was low. And, oh, oh Skylar, he gets burned alive by Ocean, so things are falling apart. They will go. It's still a late rotation from Ellis, but Slummy on the way through. Smoked a little bit too deep, so by getting up on top of Spools, is able to find the kill. Invert the last that's left. 17 inch beat, almost catching Slummy as he runs out of bullets. He's able to swap over to the pistol. Had he known he was low enough on HP, he might have stuck around, and Invert's going to find Ellis. So we're not done just yet. Because Ellis is trying to fight his way, or rather Invert is trying to fight his way back into this round, and desperately wants that bomb down. That would have been a big thing for Lunatic. Again, the round loss bonus is building up at the bomb plant, so what's really giving them enough utilities in these rounds. And as we see now, 
economy not great. That was pretty funny. The guy who uh, died in the mods up there, he had 3 HP, he was looking at the fire for about 5 seconds and he decided just to walk into it. I don't really know why, but <laughs> he just he just saw in front of him just committed suicide right in front of everyone. But now we see the 8th round on the board for SKDC is going to be the, almost a full eco here for Loon taking C. They've got some pistols and some armor, but when you've lost this many rounds in a row, you're a maximum lose bonus. It's absolutely fine to do this. It's not even considered a force. It's an eco just waiting to go into the next round, I guess. So all 5 players again going towards the banana area. Have they got any smokes to play with? They actually have got one flashbang. So potentially they'll just be going to try and just pop in and go through whatever the CTs propose to them. But a Molotov is not what you can do with that. You can't run through those as we learned last round. The smoke will be coming in any second now as well. There's the flashbang and here we go. The flashbang doesn't really do much because Stewie's able to pick up two. Invert's inside. He's also blinded up as he goes for these deagle shots. Can he find it? He spots Ocean, looks for the repeak and... Unfortunately, Mr. Wan won't show up, but Drake does find Ocean as he's wrapped through the construction. Bombs dropped in the site. Two versus two, surprisingly, because it looked like with those initial two kills from Stewie that it was going to be pretty straightforward for the counter-terrorists. Now it comes back in their favor because Slummy's found Skylar, Bombs still dropped, and Drake's stuck at new box. Ape hasn't come in close enough just yet, and Slummy's passed backed off. Does let Drake regrab this bomb, and he's got a smoke inside of it. He can plant this. Again, they're going to give up a bomb's plant. Now a difficult retake. We need to make sure they go together. Pincer, Drake, he's low HP, so it should be pretty simple for them. They know he's at new box, and Ape is going to spot him through the gap. Another defuse coming in, SKDC up to nine, Lunatic. T side again, another problem. Well, we say the problem, if you look at the scoreboard, there's been one, two, three, four, five chances that the bomb has gone down. So they, they are approaching the round in a sensible way. If you're getting the bomb down consistently, that suggests you are actually playing the round properly. It's just the, the post plan situations aren't working out for them. But as we said, 9-1 in favor of SKDC now. A change of pace for Lunatic. Inverse has been very strong with the orb tonight, and now he has picked it up. This looks like it's going to be a more of aggressive round from the CTs there. We saw that smoke being chucked from CT spawn. That's going to lock off a choke point for one of them, and you can see the CTs at Banana actually will be pushing down themselves. This is going to be good for them. Change of pace completely, and that will shut the AWP out, essentially. You can see Stewie at the top of the car now, and that will lock the T's out. They won't be getting that Banana control they've been relying on so far. Ape's the only one to really take damage so far. Gets spotted as well. Takes a little bit more, but he's bailed. Slummy finding Drake will stabilize that situation just a little bit. Op, or excuse me, bomb rather. It's going to be in the hands of Invert. He's waiting outside Boiler. There's full commitment on A. As a result of this, and this is the first time we've seen this late from SKDC, Stewie is now pushing with Ocean slightly further into Banana. So they'll get that control, and as a result... The anticipated play happens. Ocean can rotate a little bit earlier. Now he has to come back. Nice shot by Invert. We'll take Stewie at the car. And Ocean has a flash, which he'll throw out first. He doesn't have a smoke, which means they can walk directly in on top of him before the rotations get there, and they're going to find it. Skyler gives them their first chance in a while to get around going for Lunatic. Slummy's inside construction, but there's smoke on either choke point. So Invert gets this bomb down. Drossel's going to go the long flank. Ape hears him coming. Perfectly read by him. And that leaves the man advantage to SKDC as both do more and Invert look for post-plant positions, and it's Invert with the op to find one. But he still hasn't spotted the others. Spotted the first crossing, I should say, but hasn't been able to get the kills. Now he will, and it's all down to the last player, Ellis, who's already oh. been tagged up, and Invert, what a round. They need that from him with the op, and it will be the second for Lunatic. So after getting that first pick, right, they, they push down Banana, they successfully take that one terrorist. At that situation, you, you've done the work. You've won the round for your team. Unfortunately for them, though, Stewie stayed at the car, and that was the reason they lost everything. We knew Invert had the AWP. They took Stewie down. There was no one there to respond. They left one guy on the bomb site. He got taken down as well, and that's ultimately what happened and why I came down to that situation. Invert wakes up. He manages to get a three-man of the AWP. Great work for him at the end. It looks like a full rush for the CTs now coming down as they make their way in the presence in middle. It's going to get completely shut down with the T's, but exchanging of frags for both teams. Two on one now. Stewie is the last man, and that was an absolutely crazy round. Why would you have to commit to that to CT, that's always going to be a disadvantage for you, but now here we go, Stewie pushing through the smoke, and he will get locked down by Drake as well, but what a turn of events that was, it's almost giving them a free round after force by. The interesting thing was Invert nearly hit a collateral, he was about a millimeter away from shooting down two people with that op on the rush, it works out well because they've knocked a lot of guns out of the hands of the terrorists, they do avoid the round loss bonus, resetting it, they'll pick up a second successive round, yeah. but they still keep them fragile, so this, this was an alright play, the unfortunate part is we've now got to go to pistols again for the CTs, SKDC on the P250s, and the USPs, and they're gonna stack up B as well. Slummy's gonna head over toward A just to throw out an initial smoke. 
give Ape a little bit of help, but the rest are going to stack up inside Banana, and already they're paying the price for it. Skyler finding Stewie, flashing onto Ocean. May not be aware he's in that corner, so chance for Ocean. Oh, I love it. Let's get creative. Let's go for the swag throw. Didn't work? All right, give me my pistol back. And he's going to smoke CT. It needs to be aware. Good, good job. Good for you, Skyler, to check that corner. He's got the experience, but he's not ready for Slemmy. Absolutely. Good shot by him as well to just rip the head straight off his shoulders. The blunt force of the P250, and now it's going to be Ape as well to do the same on Drake. Do more does respond because the rifles eventually would have to win in that situation, but an AK has been picked up by Elsa. Elsa Mama. Bombs down. Retake coming. One on the lower side of middle and one up by library. Drossel's inside pit. This is going to be interesting for them. An invert also inside apartments gives them a decent chance to repeek. Should anyone go for this defuse, and they may just try and run away with the two AKs they've it's now got. Good. Drossel knows he's gone to the left because Slemmy can't get down mid that fast. And Slemmy reflashing himself in. One more gun down and two picked up. This could be okay. Yeah, go, leaving the round, even if you're saving the two AKs, pretty fantastic considering they didn't really invest that much into it. I think they just had P250s. Do more. He has to check it. Good for him. Because he may, if the call was that, okay, he's not there, if Invert miscalled that, mm. really good chance that Slemmy picks up him as well, but does still check it. So hats off to do more on that one. Second kill in the round, adding to his stats, but importantly, Lunatic now at four rounds. It's starting to build. Yeah, that's three in a row for them. And after the six rounds we saw from SKDC, I almost wrote them off on this, but they've bounced back and got straight back into the series. And it's pretty good now. If they get this round, potentially getting six on the board, his CT economy is still looking very fragile. And they will be mixing it up now. I can see that smoke going down to the bottom of Banana again. Will they be going for the aggressive face? It looks like they won't go for it this time. One of the CT players will be playing towards the car. It's going to be Ocean. But he's just trying to get some tentative info. He's not going to commit too heavily to that one. I'm glad this time when they look for this A execution as they set up for smokes and flashes from alt mid that they left invert back toward banana. So at least there's one player to give them that option late in the round if things don't materialize on A as they anticipate. They've also got a problem in the fact that they've got... Right now, Ellis already inside Boiler and Ape at the hallway, so apartments are limited. There's not going to be as much opening there. And that means Slemmy's the man under pressure on it because if they go to top mid, he's alone. But, I mean, Ellis is right there. Look at this setup from CT as well. Slemmy, he's going to spot the men coming up, and he's going to force the T's to come through the mid area choke point now. But here they come, the smoke. A little bit late to go out, actually. Finally does on the left. Force them to the right, but they're going to fall off of this. They're going to get oh. caught by it. The nade came out from Ellis. He only gets the one, but it's still enough to slow things down. Now call for the rotation. Ocean is more than shifting his tides toward the B or the A site, rather. But as I say that, the B site is going to be occupied by Lunatic as they start to head back. And as a result, Ocean has to stay put. He's going to get smoked out because of how quickly he rotated into CT. So Stewie's the man under threat. He's been boosted, but he's been caught. It's going to be draw do more and draw Sewell to get those kills. And draw Sewell ticking down Ocean. Lunatic have turned things around. They may get a fifth on the T side. That saw things look at 9-1 at one point. So really good comeback late in this half. We'll see if it's going to be enough because CT side has been the story all night long. Yeah, you're and absolutely Ape's going right. to save. This is uh, looking promising for Lunatic all of a sudden. Like five rounds is, is pretty decent for a T side, really, especially given the context that they were, what, 6-0 down at one stage? I think it was, I think it was 6-1 for them, but it was amazing stuff for them to get back into this one. So Lunatic looking strong now. They're actually being very convincing in these gun rounds. Going together, getting the frags, and the bomb sites seem to be taken without much effort being given to them. But Ape is going to be the last man. It's very important he saves his gun. Going into the last round, we're not going to have that much to available to them. You can see they've got 3k, 3-2. It's about average, about $3,000 on their team. Him being able to save a gun and dropping it as well is going to be valuable to them. So a very big last round. The difference between 9-6 and 10-5 is pretty huge given how we've seen the games go tonight. Oh, Ocean's going to bring out the shotgun in the last round. Of course. Why not? We love a shotgun here. It's the swag, though. I prefer the auto shotgun. That's right. <laughs> with uh, with Davey. Yeah. That's been good tonight. God love you, Davey. Fortunately, Davey's team don't move on, so we won't get to see much more of that shotgun. What we will see is Skyler heading into Banana with a smoke directly in front of him. Passive Bananas have been... Uh, the name of the game this evening, though. No one really going for that deep smoke out of spawn to try and get down toward the tree. Skyler's going to put some pressure on it. They've already lost Slemmy as well now for the CTs over at A. As a result, they pull Ellis all the way back off of Arch. He'll try and get in front of Library to help out Ape, who's in the pit. But the T's spread out evenly. Drossul in the apartments. He's the one that found that opening pick. Rather, excuse me, that was Doomore. Drossul was 
Still in a good position, though, to lurk. But now the bomb accumulating inside banana. Another smoke. Another late utility. The problem is that that's all they have on that site. Aside from flashes at this point. Stewie's got a Molotov. He could toss. The problem is his teammate is now Molotov from the sandbags. Oh and he's God. got nowhere to run from it. Dumore's going to actually burn him alive. And now Stewie, who's been spotted up, has a lot of problems. But as that happens, Lunatic play this smart. They settle it down because they know they're going to force a rotation. So if they can find an additional pick, they'll open up the map a lot more. And that's what's going to happen as Ape goes down inside the pit. Ellis has to come back. Bomb's still just waiting. There's 22 seconds. It's got to eventually pick a site. But take your pick. It actually could be the wrong pick. As I look at this, Ellis has found a way. Okay, they do find him. If they hadn't found Ellis there, he could have dropped the bomb off invert and potentially escaped through middle, but it works out nonetheless. Good recovery, 9-6 after 9-1 for Lunatic. That was really clever from Lunatic. They were forcing so much from the CTs of the Banana Bomb site. They had a player up in the apartments as well, and he was just waiting for the rotations. As soon as the kills came in, a CT left the pick. He got one big frag there, and then opened the bomb site so well for them. And they did only dropped one frag in that final round. So 9-6, such a strong recovery from Lunatic, and giving themselves a real fighting chance here. Going into the CT half with six rounds in the bank, if they win the pistol here, they could be in a real good shot of taking this series. So really good half, actually. That was both interesting approaches from both teams like he said i'd have liked to see the cts uh, utilize a banana area more and gain control there. i think they only did it once the rest of the time they're just waiting and giving the t's so much freedom there especially just getting right to the top and even allowing to get information as to what was going on so pretty pretty interesting stuff but ultimately you have to tip your hat to lunatic for getting back into this so skyler leading the way for his side of the battle but slemmy leads overall with 17 Assist war is won by Ocean. And the Ocean is assisted by the Moon. Nice. That's good. Oh, that's okay. It's not your best. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the initial build-up on that one. I appreciate it. <laughs> right then, so... I was just thinking, we had such a good... Speaking of the Moon, such a good chance when they put the camera on us standing up to Moon the camera. It was perfect. Probably not appropriate. It probably wouldn't have been ideal <laughs> for our careers. No. Or for PGL's reputation. <laughs> And it's, uh... But there was a chance. Oh. Oh, it's not... Shh, don't say anything. It's not what I think it is. We'll see what happens. We're waiting. I don't know what we're waiting on this time. We did have a pause last time for someone to go to the bathhouse. <laughs> what was it? Wash house? No, bathhouse. Bathhouse, that's it. And we had that drawn out beautifully on the screen. And they are going to be ready up. So SKDC in the driver's seat, but they're swapping to the terrorist side with only nine. I know it's I, it's Inferno. Nine rounds should be enough, but tonight, as the way we've th seen things progress, I don't know if nine rounds is. We'll have to see them get the pistol, I really do think, because otherwise we go right to 9-9, nine, nine, and they have to battle out in gun rounds to bring this back. Yeah, I think... Potentially 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh, another drawing. What is... Is this a better bathhouse? I'm not... It looks like a toaster to me. Looks like a mushroom. <laughs> I'm confused. The panic is setting in now. I don't think they know where they're going with it. I'm uh, watching. Okay. I think this, the bailout mushroom, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. If anyone knows what that was, please tell me. Tweet in your answers. But here we go then. Shame. Someone out there in the production room. I'm sorry. We just called out your drawing. But action's going to resume. It is the last map of the evening. The final map of this best of three. Winner moves on to play against Method in the final. Winner of that, the best of five tomorrow evening, will move into the group stage with Luminosity, the Brazilian Luminosity. Let's not get confused. Liquid and CLG. And CLG's been on a tear lately, so they're going to look good in this group stage. Okay, a decoy then. thrown to the top of middle. Skyler has to fall off of that. Gives a bit of a change of pace to what the terrorists initially intended. And in fact, it allows them by pushing Skylar back to get a little bit closer to the top of middle. And they're going to go. They're actually just going to run in on this. Drake is still holding Banana. And the bomb's way back down toward T, but he's going to get caught. As he runs by, he's going to realize there's still two there. He wins that exchange. And the reason I'm focusing on it is because that's where the bomb is. So despite that there's some activity at A, no one else has gone down. And Drake's got the information to pull Invert back onto the B site. Despite that he's lost low HP, he'll have a support system. SKDC, though... For whatever reason, and perhaps smartly so, we're still going to intend to look toward A. There's still three members there, though, as well for the CT team. And Skyler is going to be the first to hear them coming. Not to hit the shots. Now does. Also wow. has the ball. Nice repeat. The second shot is beautiful. And now he's going to run back to the site. 7 HP stays alive. And Stewie 2K. He's going to find one on invert. Could, might, could fight himself out of this with two low HP players. But it would be very unlikely. As they're swarming on all sides of him. And Skyler 
appropriate that he'll close it out with the one tap from the USP. Lunatic make it seven, and we said that if Lunatic picked this up, we're going to see a very close game to close things off. Yeah, that was right. When when Drake got that first pick down on Benan, you're absolutely correct. When he got it, it was fantastic for them. He was managed to fall back without dying, even though he had 8 HP as well. Skylar holding the arch area perfectly. Three huge frags for him. That has completely shut it down. And we can see the responses coming in from the T-Set now. They will get the Tech Nines and Armors. They have got some utility to play with as well. Smoke Grenades, Molotov as well. So they're sticking together in the second mid area here. Be interested to see how they approach it, whether it be something very simple to smoking off one of the sides of mid and going up together with one flashbang or whether they'll smoke towards a truck or something like that. And it seems like they actually will be smoking deep within the actual arch itself. So this could be difficult for the CTs to hold off now. The terrorists already around that corner. Drake spotting, but realizing he's got to fall back. And one's made it past, so Stewie's got a chance to wrap through Library, but he's going to shut them down. Bombs dropped. Ellis getting the kill back in return allows Drossel to come over for the trade, but Stewie's still alive and he's causing panic and also allowing Elsa Mama the whole time to get this bomb down. So SKDC with a bomb plant on round two have potential to bring out guns a lot sooner. And still with two up, there's a chance for more than just that. Perhaps an eco as Invert gets stuck in the stairwell of... Oh, Graveyard, such a hard spot to get out of. Things looking great. Skyler goes down. SKDC, great response. Amazing response. And Stewie picking up three kills with a Tech 9 there. He was such a menace on the bomb side there. Running through smokes, finding headshots wherever he could. As soon as the bomb went down as well, the smokes really did favor them on that truck area, especially. Managed to get some really big damage off with the famous spray through that. It was a really nice tactical approach to start around as well. As we said, the smoke being used right at the top of the choke point of the arch as well. One flashbang through that made it almost impossible for the CTs to hold it off. And Stewie, like I said before, went absolutely ham there and got them a massive round on the board that's going to force lunatic onto almost a full eco here now they've got a couple of p250s in hand if that's about it they're not stacking anywhere either so t's potentially have a very easy round coming their way bit of preemptive spam nothing surprising just making sure no one's in behind the car checking all angles take no chances to establish a banana presence ocean meanwhile he's going to Take some damage and some shots toward Boiler. He gets up on top. Actually, he's in the balcony at alt middle. So through the window, he collects that kill. There's a stack on this B site, though. There's actually three players here. As the pistols are back out, they've got a boost as well. And it is going to work out for Invert. But, oh, well, I say but. I was going to say this should be the indication to just take the bomb back to A. They're being slow about it. They're still going to put some pressure on this. And Skyler's going to be able to call because he's so forward in Boiler. He'll hear this. Good read from Ape. Knew where the boost was. Got the call from his teammate, so it doesn't go much further than he has to to find that kill. Smoke now going to come out. Drossel not spotted through that smoke, so still alive, and that's a problem. Bomb luckily goes down, but things could get awkward right now for SKDC. As Drossel's on it, is he defusing? He's not. He hasn't found it. Now he jumps out. It comes down to three men left. It could have been a little bit more efficient, but SKDC, importantly, still pick up the round. Yeah, so it got a little bit awkward for them then, especially when it came to that 4 4 situation. They weren't really sure how they should SQ onto the bomb site. But this is where it gets really interesting in terms of the game. Look at the money Lunatic have available. They gotta have to decide whether the, what they're going to do here. I can see a Nova being bought. I guess they're investing everything they have into the next round. They want to see what, what Relics can do here, whether they'll be able to do anything interesting with the shotgun. Maybe I should just jump on him and see where he's going to go with that. That's going to be all kinds of fun if he does manage to find an extra kill there. He's going to be in the apartments area as well. A full stack towards the B-bomb side apart from him looking. It looks like he actually is going to have a victim coming towards him as well. Here he comes. You ready? Well, we've definitely got our pump shotty back out. Apparently the CT's not ready though because as we watch this unfold, Stewie's found three kills in B. That's where the stack was. And he may get more than that, Stewie. He's going to pick up his fourth. The ace is a long way away from him, so unfortunately that's not going to unfold. Actually, I take that back. Stewie's got three. The extra, uh, the other one went to ape. He got the assist on it, but Skyler's left for... Samama? Come on, buddy. Got to make that happen quicker. Either way, it's going to be alive in the end. All five up for SKDC, building the economy. This is what they need out of the T side, and it comes off the back of the eco. So, the AWP out for Invert. He's been very strong with that tonight, actually. Getting some vital picks, even on the T side of this half. He's been great. So, it'll be interesting to see where he goes with it. The, the default position is to go towards Banana and maybe go for the initial pick. You want to go aggressive at the start and work out whether the T's have an awful themselves. And he gets oh, the jump boost yes. as well. It's going to be sick. He's going to get there so fast. Invert there with the op. This is perfection. But unfortunately, no one peeking. I would have loved to have seen that play materialize. Would have been another odd shot moment. We've had a few on this stream tonight. 
especially with our standing quad shots. Be the first time my crotch is worth anything notable. That's true. Okay, then the terrorists. terrorists. Yeah, it's <laughs> still grouped in middle. Ocean's going to go back. He wants to get that presence. We've talked about that in Banana. Skylar's a little bit more forward. He's actually immediately on the corner as that smoke is out. He'll look for the flash from Invert to take the peek. And they're going to go passive as I say that. Stewie again with an entry. He's coming alive right now on this T side. And SKDC need that as they look to wrap up this game three. They won the first one. The second Ooh. one went to Lunatic. And Ellis is going to bring back two. So things looking very, very good now for the T side. Going to bring Dumor back through the library. And apparently he's read a book on how to take down Stewie 2K, the menace that is. But the bomb's going to still be planted for SKDC. I love Ellis's position with the op. He actually finds Dumor. Good patience. Here's the footsteps. Adjusts himself accordingly. And Drossel's heading all the way back to T spawn. So SKDC going to be on 13. Yeah, pretty convincing stuff from them as well. And that's a pretty huge round for SKDC. That's going to put them in a difficult situation for Lunatic, I mean, going into the next round. Drawsol definitely wants to save his M4. You can see him desperately hiding in this apartment area. And he won't be hunted too badly here. You can see one player going to be checking T-spawn, but that's going to be Elson. He's got the AWP. He won't be looking too hard. But 13-7 now. They're in touching distance of taking this series as they go into the 21st round. And that's what I'm talking about. Look at the money for the CTs now. This is such a huge round, and they need to be very careful how they approach it. If they eco this one, go to the next one, they hand strong arms to CT side. We've seen them do it before. They can be very strong CT players, and I think they're making a wise decision here. Keep the money they have. Use draw soul to potentially win them this round. If they can find out the way, right way to utilize them, this could be very interesting. But this is definitely the right decision for me. Let's see how this one pans out. As they set an Inferno on Inferno upon the car. Good position from Ellis as Drossel's going to overextend. This should tell Dumor not to push it back, but he wants to. He's still going to take this pistol fight. He nearly makes it interesting as Ellis goes down to 30 HP, but holds on. That's the important part because now three players are gone from SKDC and the map is open. One on either side. Drake will fall out of Boiler, take the peek towards Slemmy, but that's only going to give up his position. Also put him on a lot lower HP, 20, and that's gone as well. Skyler inside B, last one left. Slemmy will put the bomb down around. He's going to go again to SKDC on an anti-eco. Skyler's also picked up an AK, so look for him to try and save that. So still something interesting that can happen at the end of this round. Yeah, and that's going to be four in a row now for SKDC. This is... Uh been, that's going to be the fifth one in a row, sorry, this one will be so amazing stuff on them so far, pretty impressive stuff on their T campaign, and this is obviously very close to map point now, CT's economy isn't great, you can see them, they will be getting M4s out, but there's not going to be a lot in terms of the utility play, whether I think they've opted to go for the incendiaries, a couple of them there to hold them off, but obviously a huge round, Invert yet again, picking up the AWP, uh, but Slemmy's got one as well. We haven't seen him pull it that, that out so far on this T-half. So change of pace for them as well. They want to close this one out and they want to do it right now. And it's only been the one round so far for Lunatic on this CT side. And economy's been the problem. They won the pistol round of all things. We thought it was going to stabilize. But an eco, and a very good eco at that from SKDC. Keeps things back the way of the terrorists, but right now, finally a first pick for Lunatic. It's Drake to take down Ocean, and we saw that happen. He's been doing that all night as well. Just when they need a pick, is Drake is being the point man for that and getting them back into the rounds. Oh, that one as well. This is good. This is what they need. He may get the third as well, because Ellis doesn't know he's on the stairwell, but does look. Gets the call from his teammate. Headshot. Just to add some flavor to it. The only flavor they want to taste right now is victory. And does Lunatic have a man up? Ape's got bomb, Ellis is with him in middle. Stewie's still just scouting out inside Banana just to make sure Skyler stays honest because if he rotates too soon, they could go back that direction, but right now the anticipation and the plan is totally to work A, or is it? With Stewie picking up that kill, they're going to go back to B. The problem is Dumor's already rotated, and now he's gone. So they've given up the map control they gained on A, obviously without the knowledge we have, but it could be a problem. That Although Dumor's gone, they, this, this could still work out just based on timing. The invert holding the B-bomb side now. Two terrorists coming in. He's going to have to have his work cut out for him. I'd suggest he just holds back until the team can rotate and help him out. And the bomb down for SKDC. So that's a good start. Ellis 
Also in a good position to catch them out through the smoke, and aptly, he turns around. Very wise to realize there's a potential flank on Banana, and Drossel's making a lot of noise, so it's Telegraph, but he misses the shot, and now the terror counter-terrorists, excuse me, have a great chance for the retake, and the defuse will come. Lunatic finally get number eight, but still a lot of money for SKDC. Oh, look at the money. It's like 12k average on their side. It's amazing. So CTs dropped a few frags there, but they should be able to get a, a nice gun round this time but if they lose this round and reset the economy i'm sorry that is pretty much gg at this stage this is a round they have to win losing this one just ties it all up for skdc so they know that as well so this could be very interesting for them they can probably do something a little bit more audacious maybe a little rush strat here get something in a bit faster instead of trying to work the pick so much but invert will have that awp that's the advantage they do have and he's taking it towards the b bomb side again but he's being much more passive this time he's allowing them to get up to the, the top of car and he'll be holding the, the back right of the side looks like Drake's gonna play passively. That flash comes through. He has to hear them coming. He does. He loses it. Ape finding the opening. So SKDC again with a man advantage. This forces the fall from Drossul back to Pit. They have to give up Arch. So it's a full wrap right now onto the A site. How does Doomor possibly fight himself out of this exactly like that? By finding Ocean on the first pick. Unfortunately, Drossul is left overexposed. And Doomor might get two, but Slemmy's made his way into Graveyard. He may not even have to fight with Doomor. And he has the position on the high ground to do so. The only problem he has to worry about is the players getting to arch before he can find his way to pit. And now he'll go, and he's found Dumore. It works out perfectly. Bomb gonna get planted. Man advantage on the post plant situation for SKDC. Match point could be impending on a smoke. By default, out in front of Library. Not only slows down the retake, but gives a lot of time for Stewie 2K to show up on the flank. As Skyler, and there's Stewie's kill. Skyler has to fight himself into it. One versus two. Has a kit, has head armor, has the first and second kill. He's looking for the third. It's low HP now for Ape. If Skyler can pull this off, Lunatic still give a good chance into it. But Skyler is going to get taken down in the end by Stewie. The best efforts thwarted. It's two HP left in the end. They almost threw that away. They didn't have to face that whatsoever. He wasn't even near the bomb. And they're both facing go down to one HP each, it looked like. And it was so close. Had he just got one more shot off into them, that could have been it. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. And this is what I was talking about. Going into this round, they have broke the CT economy. And they approach this final round with literally next to nothing. Some pistols and a couple of ropey rifle buys as well. As long as SKDC play this round properly, this should be all she wrote for this one. All she wrote for the best of three. SKDC. They won the first map. Lunatic had a great comeback on their CT side. Made it 8-7 and finally put a T side together on Mirage. It's been an interesting back and forth evening in this particular series. We went three maps in the first one as well for Method coming back. A map down to start against 3 sip. And then let out that smoke. It'll bloom just in front of Dumore. So Drake and Dross will have more problems. Bomb's way back at T-Stairs. Ape and Stewie covering off Banana. Skylar and Invert, the players inside B. And Stewie again finding an opening pick. I can't wait till we see his statistic on how many first kills he had because that's yet another one. And how much impact has he had on this T-side? For me, so far, the MVP of this aggressive side from SKDC. But it gets thwarted. It's taken back down as Drake turns them down a notch, as does Invert. Slummy, though, coming back in. Goes to three versus three, and the B site is fairly open. Drossel's not going to wait. He's going to get up on top of the spools. He spots Ape initially, but a great shot from Slemmy bringing it back, and SKDC are that close to wrapping it all up. Drake's on low HP. The bomb is ticking, and things are now going to get even more awkward because Dumore is gone, and Drake with 19 has to go versus three. SKDC might just do enough. We won't call it too soon. Well, no kid in play either. This is almost impossible for Drake now. He has been great this entire series, but that is going to be it. 16-8 and 2-1 in favor of SKDC. They take the series, and what a game it was in the end. Fantastic stuff, and uh, that's pretty amazing. What a, what a day it's been for us. Incredible day in absolutely great fashion. Can you just hold this for a second, just really quickly? Okay. All right, oh, perfect. All right. I'm just going to make sure we, we know who won that match. I couldn't possibly guess what this is. Uh, why don't you just go ahead and uh, just pull that out for me. Yeah, SKDC coming through with that one. Way to go, boys. They'll move into the final tomorrow night. Best of five against Method, but let's talk back about that series because Lunatic's T-Sides, it might have been good on Mirage, but it definitely wasn't there throughout the evening.
It's cold. It's morning. I need a blanket to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. The, the T sides on, especially on the opening map, it was wasn't meant to be. There it is, that. Stewie. Seven first kills, by the way. Not to interrupt, but that's ridiculous. That's you're absolutely right. He's been great tonight. I just wanted to see um, Drake's as well. Where was he sat on that level? What's his name? It's Asan, isn't it? So Asan in our stats is Drake. Yep. Okay, so his first kill was it's not as hard as I thought it would be. He got four there, but he's been great for me tonight. I thought his recovery play for his team has been amazing. Just when they were looking down the barrel of match point and stuff, he somehow would find two frags out of nowhere. It was really impressive stuff from him, but can't take any away from SKDC tonight. They have been phenomenal. And we can see the MVP there is slemming and uh, takes some... I mean, statistically, sure, but I, 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 for me, it goes to Stewie 2K, just for the impact. Sure. I think, I think you're absolutely right. Shout out to Stewie. He's been giving me shout outs all night as well. So it's only fair to pay the, pay the yeah. back, I think. Back to what you were saying, though, Lunatic's T-side. I mean, that's still an, an issue that needs to be addressed. It's definitely something that needs to be addressed, I think. It, it, it seems like they've... Some maps it, it was actually fine on. So the Mirages seemed like they were bouncing back and they got to it. It was the Dust 2 T-side again that was pretty abysmal. They, that's their pick, right? And they're only getting three rounds on the T-side of Dust 2. You can't... That's not good enough, I'm afraid. Their CT side seem pretty convincing on all maps, it seems like. But um, unfortunately for them, there's a lot left to be desired. Something that needs to be worked on. And may, a lot of teams will struggle with that, but it's obviously a fundamental of the game, being able to execute onto the bomb sites. I've said this before about them. They're very good at getting the opening picks. And it's even their approach to the beginning of the round is great. It's just after that, it's... Uh, what's this? Just pointing at the, the uh, Twitch chat. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry, keep going. I've lost it again, though. Oh, my God. I wasn't, I wasn't even trying to. <laughs> How did this happen? Um, I think the point I was trying to make is it's the execution onto the bomb side. It's the decisions mid-round. Once they get the pick, they don't necessarily know what to do with it. So something they need to work on. But I was very impressed with SKDC tonight. Hopefully, I'm going into tomorrow against Method. That's going to be another exciting series. But that's going to be the best of five, right? I mean, that's an, yeah, and best of five. And that's another series that has the potential to go the distance, for sure. Uh, Method impressed me tonight. I didn't think they were going to take down three set, but they, mm -hmm. they definitely showed off. They were close in the season. Let's keep in mind, it was it was eight and 14, I think I said, for three set in the pro league this year. Yeah. Six and 16 for Method. So, I, I mean, it was very close, but uh, we do have our results. Oh, no. They're going to show I me first about this the time. They're doing you first. All right, well, let's see. Bring it up. I don't know if I won tonight. I really don't, because the second game went a lot differently than I expected, and I also had three step to win the first one, so I stacked up on them. So I had 1096. Just bring up the team. We'll make sure we That's cover off. That's a good off. score, though, right? That is a pretty good score, but let's just cover off and see uh, who I had. As I had Stewie, had him in there for sure. That, I mean, the fact that they went three games means that it doesn't matter who you really pick up as long as there wasn't a blowout in one of those games against sure. the team that you stacked. So Silent with 126 wasn't too bad. Dumore's up there. He recovered because in the first game he wasn't great. Davey was in there for me, but I think, you know, I, I don't have Slummy. I mean, Slummy was a big one to pick up, and uh, I went for Ape. That was definitely a good call, but thankfully Stewie came through late. Who was my shot caller? Dumore. He was a little bit quiet, so good thing he came right. back. Imagine a, Stewie was the shot caller. We've had enough of this guy now. Let's get on to the real show, the Henry you might, show. You might have me tonight. I think I have. I'm. What, what was your score finally? So 1096, 1096. 15. Okay, that's the amateur predictions out of the way. Let's see the real deal. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Oh, I got you again. My 30. So close. God I love it. 3 nothing. Oh, can't be bothered. 3 Stewie, nil. Who is your difference? You had Kiko. You had Jason R. I didn't have who Jason me, R. I had Davey. Down but Davey and Jason R were even. Yeah, who did? Aria. Aria was your letdown. Yeah. And Ely. Because I had... I had um, why am I forgetting now? I had a player that was at 94. I had Drake at 94. So your difference was literally an Ari and Ely because Jason R was super even with Davey. In fact, I think Jason R outdid Davey by like three points. Damn. So that's close. But the winners of these leagues definitely have to have Stewie as the strat caller. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, look how far ahead they are than us. 12.35. So good for them. Good for that super nerd. He shows off he is a super nerd. <laughs> good Jason job, buddy. Me. Master Pasha. That's a great night. Number eight. Oh, well, there we go then. You win again. Three to zero. You'll get me back. It's going to happen. Well, when we get to Europe, I hope, it, I hope it never does. No? But it may. It will do. Just wait till next week. That's when things get interesting. So We actually, yeah, we still have one more night of North America, so I could make it 4 nothing. Bev, your chance to come back. Yeah. Well, the final's not tomorrow. It's the day after. I thought the final was tomorrow. Oh, we'll okay. have a day break. Okay, they're telling us in my ear. Uh, okay, so we had to push it back due to teams having other commitments. So it's going to be a two-day 
uh, period before that final happens. And, and speaking of that, you can't have a Vulcan for one game because you can only pick three off a team. So that okay. one actually won't be in Vulcan. You'll have a chance to get me back when we switch to Europe. Fine. So tomorrow we're off. I said tomorrow was going to be the finals. I built it up like crazy, and now I've disappointed you. It's actually two days from now. Well, at least we get to continue this sleeping schedule for an extra day. I'm super thrilled. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock local for us. I'm going to go get some Aiken, uh, Aiken, bacon and eggs. Aiken and eggs. Aiken. Aiken and bags. And then we'll get some sleep. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. We'll see you in two days' time where we will get to the conclusion of this NA bracket. We'll figure out who's going to join the three other invited teams in the group stages. It's going to be exciting. It's definitely proven to be an excellent night of Counter-Strike this evening. Nothing will change for that best of five. We'll see you then. We've got to the B bomb side. Here we go. You can see the frags, a flurry of them as well. Two Glock headshots there, and he does get the third as well. Drasul. He doesn't have the armor. It's Invert who does, and it's Invert who puts the bomb down. His two kills not going to be enough, but bomb down. As I mentioned, those key words. Two second now as well. There's the flashbang, and here we go. The flashbang doesn't really do much because Stewie's able to pick up two. ADC has both do more, and Invert look for post plant positions, and it's Invert with the op to find one. But he still hasn't spotted the others. Spotted the first crossing, I should say, but hasn't been able to get the kills. Now he will, and it's all down to the last player, Ellis, who's already oh. been tagged up. And Invert, what a round. They need that from him with the off. Well, for the CT team, and Skyler is going to be the first to hear them coming. Not to hit the shots, now does. Also has the ball. Nice repeat. The second shot is beautiful. Eco. So, the AWP after Invert is a very strong.